Following a recent geophysical study of the subsurface, potentially exploitable resources were identified. Further exploration of the subsurface by drilling a well is now necessary in order to confirm the existence of any hydrocarbon deposits. Once the authorizations are obtained, IPC, with the help of specialized companies, can then start the drilling phase. Before any operations take place, archaeologists carry out preventative excavations on the site in order to ensure that there is no buried historical material. Then the land has to be prepared to accommodate the drilling facilities. The drilling apparatus, including a mast, more commonly known as the derrick, rises up to 40 meters in height. All required equipment is gathered for the smooth functioning of the drilling operations. Generators, fluid processing and recycling, various technical and administrative buildings and storage facilities. This is all situated on a closed and secure site where geoscientists, operators and technicians operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to ensure continuous smooth functioning of the equipment. In order to reach a potential deposit, a very deep well has to be drilled. To drill through the rock, drill bits of various diameters are used. These are usually made from steel and may have diamond teeth. These tools are fixed onto lengths of linked metal pipe, supported and turned by the rig. Gradually, more drill pipe is attached at the surface to penetrate deeper into the subsurface. End to end, this drill string can be several thousands of meters long. The borehole can be drilled vertically through the ground or in a curve by causing a small deviation at the drill bit, which the drill string will then follow. This technique is especially used to avoid surface obstacles and also to limit the impact on the environment by completing multiple wells from only one platform. As we continue drilling, in order to preserve the different geological layers and groundwater from the borehole, holes of different sizes are drilled and casing of different diameters is inserted into the hole and cemented. The quality of the cement is checked with the help of electrical logs and validated before carrying out further operations. A drilling fluid called mud, made up of water and various other components, is pumped through the drill string to lubricate the drilling bits. This important liquid is also used to extract the bits and pieces of the rock to the surface before the fluid is recycled and reused. It is also used to ensure that naturally occurring fluid in the rock cannot flow back to surface by itself. Caroline, a geologist, is in a laboratory analyzing the different fragments brought to the surface by the mud as well as data from the drilling process. These studies are vital, as it is through this analysis we can determine the proximity of the deposits. Once the well is drilled to the target depth, a rock sample of several tens of meters in length is removed and analyzed in order to determine the presence of hydrocarbons. We call this process coring. The study of different strata presented in the cut core allows us to precisely reconstruct the nature of the sediments encountered and their characteristics. All the acquired geological and subsurface data is shared with the French authorities. If the well is unsuccessful, the IPC team undertakes a rehabilitation of the site following an approved program by the authorities. However, if the sample analysis taken from the well is positive and indicates potential hydrocarbon resources, the well will be production tested in order to evaluate its exact potential. IPC. We explore the Earth for everyone's future.